What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm joined by Raphael. Um, so, unfortunately, I went ahead and lost my audio file for this vid for the first part of the video. Um, but basically, all I'm gonna do is just kind of give you guys a quick rundown of the process that's already kind of been done to the car. All right, guys. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel it really means a lot to me um turn on your notifications this is gonna be quite a build so you definitely don't want to miss any changes coming up um drop a comment down below let me know what you think about the build let me know what uh what mods should i do next um there's gonna be a few mods coming up um, before the end of the, the vlog so stay tuned for that you definitely don't want to miss any of those um, right now, basically, I'm just kind of going over some of the items that were already PPF'd. As you guys can see, I'm just pointing to the door, the fender, the trunk, um, and by door, I mean doors, uh, pillars, mirrors, um, and, you know, obviously, I might have missed one of two items along the way. But, again, go ahead and um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the video so far. And honestly, this whole process is um, is very, very special. Honestly, if you guys can see this process being done first tan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the temperature? 64 degrees? Oh, nice, nice. It was actually over 100 degrees um, during the time that the car was PPF'd. So it was good that it was everything was getting done inside. Unfortunately, with the air on, it does not really allow the PPF to... Um, dry and drying is a very important part of the process um, the reason why these edges are not tucked in or folded in are because the adhesive is still a little bit wet so Raphael at this point is kind of just waiting for the eight, the temperature to get a little hotter so that the um, adhesive could do its thing but yeah guys check out the process check out how everything is looking the fenders are already done everything is looking so good the gloss I mean, this Expel Fusion material is the best out there. So, guys, check this out. All right, guys. So, while he's still working on the process right now, and by he, I mean Raphael, um, go ahead and go check out the rest of the videos. Um, this is the latest update where I go ahead and I do a full install, as you can see on the on the suspension components. I mean, normally, if you just have the, the hardware right here, but this one we took it to another level so guys go check out the new video this is going to be a new kit that's going to be available for downstar so go check that out also go check out why i hate having buying a new car as you can see it's a process so go check out that video see how the process begins and if you have more time go check out also the other videos so um we got plenty right here to choose from so let me know um, in the comments below if you guys are enjoying it and if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see um, Let me go ahead and play some of this for you guys I, Sorry for the intro that honestly was not supposed to be the way I wanted to start my intro, but Unfortunately, the video uploaded way before I was ready, but check it out guys, it's still a good video. Alright guys, so for this process, Raphael is going to go ahead and use the, the polisher. Um, he's going to go ahead and uh, polish off the roof. For some reason, um, the car had water spots and, you know, the best way to do PPF is to make sure that you get all the paint and every single part that's going to be protected well detailed. Um, as you guys can see, this is a better angle of me just showing the polishing process. Again, this is not a paint correction. This is just a quick polishing um, step to make sure that we get the best results um, when PPFing. So as you guys can see, this is the steps that were taken. And just like that, you guys can see the results. You guys can see everything looks so nice and shiny and glossy. He's giving it a nice wipe down, making sure that everything just has a good reflection. As you guys can see, this thing is like a mirror. So with that said, he can now go ahead and, you know, just move on with the PPF process. But we still got more polishing to do. So 
as you guys can see this is um, the other side of the roof and again just making sure that everything looks clean all the water spots are gone and ensuring that the PPF process will go undoubtedly um, really well it'll go ahead and um, show showcase the carbon fiber the weave and we won't have any water spots so again so these are the steps that you must take to get a real real good results when PPFing.
Hi guys, so just a quick heads up right now. Um, the G80 is still getting worked on as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I've been doing a, um, an install for my buddy Ali right here. You guys have seen the M4 on the channel before. We're gonna go ahead and I just swapped out the front, the front springs. He was, he, um, he had some Eibach springs and um, nothing bad against them, but he wanted to achieve a little bit more of a, a, a lower stance on the vehicles, more aggressive. So he went out and opted for the EMD F80. Those are the springs that we went with. And as you guys can see, we have the first one already on there. And right now what I'm just gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use the wire brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use some anti-seize, get all that cleaned up before we go ahead and throw on some spacers. I believe he got 12 millimeter spacers, yeah. right? Yeah, so this is gonna look really nice. So while I'm doing this, he's actually um, taking advantage and also cleaning up the engine bay. As you guys can see, a nice engine bay really will look nicely with the new stand. So, let's let's keep uh let's keep going with this uh again i already removed the spring um if you guys want to see how it was done i'll go ahead and show you guys on the other side but for now let me finish up over here and then we'll pick it up afterwards all right guys so i went ahead and finished up with ali's help we honestly were able to get this job done so so quick um it's about 2 30 just before three o'clock and honestly you know, even with the weather, the way things are, honestly, I think everything came out really good. You guys see how, honestly, the the wheels look more flush to the fenders. And in the rear, too. I mean, the rear, honestly, looks really, really nice. It gives the car a much more aggressive stance. So, honestly, I'm very, very happy the way everything came out. And more than anything, I'm more excited about seeing Ali happy with, with the way things came out. With, uh, with us doing the, the spacers and the springs... I also went ahead and I um, installed the M1, M2 and the start stop button on his car. So you guys can see right there. And then we also did the matte carbon paddle shifters. Honestly, that was a nice touch altogether. Honestly, I think, as you guys can see right there, this is his POV. And honestly, that's a nice point of view. So, honestly, what do you think about the mods? With it. not with not very much, right? It yeah. it sometimes it doesn't really take a lot to honestly get the the look and and style that you want. And honestly, he's doing it right. So again, guys, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me. Reach out to Ali. I'll go ahead and put out his Instagram. Um, he'll if you guys have any questions, I'll let you guys know how easy it is to honestly get some of these parts to make the car just um transform it to a different a different look. Just yes, yeah, right now, honestly, it's just uh, in L.A., honestly, we, we have a little bit of crazy weather. It's about 100 degrees, but it kind of drizzled about maybe 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, 11, 11 for like, what, 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> if that, and honestly, all it does is just get everything dirty. So, honestly, guys, um, thank you for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, this is going to be a short video, but um, it's all in preparation for the G80. As you guys know, Rafael is still working in there. So, good work takes time. Just remember that, guys. Patience is virtue. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, turn on your notifications. Go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what mo modifications you guys um, would, would do first if you guys had a, an opportunity to own an M car. Um, I'll go ahead and go through my list pretty soon. So, I hope to see your list first.
so after unwinding for a bit, um, we actually, uh, by we I mean Kyle, Sam, Brandon, and um, and Chris, we went out to Downstar. They wanted to uh, pick up additional hardware, so we took a drive out there. And um, basically, Rafael is finished with the whole car. Um, this is the rear tow hook cover. Um, I had this this thing off just because um, once I go ahead and attach the carbon fiber piece that goes on the bottom, it's going to be very difficult to um, to take it out ever. And I wanted Rafael to PPF this, this thing really, really nicely. So again, I had to sacrifice not having a tow cover for a few weeks, but as you guys can see, this is a nice little therapeutic process. Um, it's again just protecting every little aspect of the vehicle everything that could um that's going to be exposed elements dirt debris soap um water um basically that's what it's all about and that's the nice little carbon fiber piece that's going to complete the diffuser so again as you guys can see everything is a nice process it's just you know, it's just a little time consuming. I mean, as you guys can see, one little strip like that takes a, a, a couple couple minutes just to make sure that it's done properly. Now you can squeegee it one time and call it good, but hey, I wasn't in a hurry. So I I didn't really mind the process and this is good so that everyone else can see what um, what the PPF process is all about. Now PPF is different than film. Um, and by film, I mean like wrap, wrap film. Um, wrap film actually has more stretch to it and PPF doesn't so um, you really have to know how to how to work with the material you have to know how to have the right water mixture soap mixture um, you gotta make sure that everything dries properly so that you're not spending hours trying to you know tuck in or try to get the the one spot to tack um, properly so again as you guys can see this is the process um now can you guys imagine doing this on a whole car obviously you know it, it's different with uh when it's bigger panels this is a small little um, piece so obviously it, it does take some uh some time but you also have to finesse the material you got to make sure that um you know you don't leave any any bubbles or you don't overstretch the film so and you know this is where you know like the expertise the experience comes into play where you can get a nice results like looking like this this piece completes the exterior now he's gonna ppf the interior um carbon fiber pieces um yeah i guess i'm taking it just a couple extra steps but look at that big difference So today I'm going to go ahead and start my vlog a little differently. I went ahead and stopped at my boy's shop, cut it off. Um, he's out here in Panorama City and honestly, I, just, I cannot express how, how rejuvenated I feel. I feel like a new man. Honestly, big shout out to Chris. So if you guys need a barbershop and you guys are in the valley, hit him up, cut it off barbershop, tell him I sent you. Honestly, everyone out there is really awesome, really cool. So go check him out. And honestly, right there, that, that's his M3 right over there. That thing is a beauty. Honestly, I've had the privilege to work on this car. So let me get a little closer and show you guys a little bit more about his, his build. As you guys can see, it sits very nicely. It actually, it has the KW Haas kit. I went ahead and installed that as soon as he picked up the car, along with the, the wing, he has a very nice and performance decal on the side. He's got side skirts on that thing. 
I mean, honestly, that thing is a proper build. Let me move out of the way. Um, so right now, I was actually just checking out the car, and then look who popped up. What's up, man? Here, I made it. How's it going? Was, and it's weird to see him over know, here, right? No, it is. Bro, I need to move over here. You do. You need to come out to the valley. Can I move in? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got, there's a spot I got right it. there. This one. <laughs> 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 you want to sleep in the M3? Yeah. Oh, you can sleep in the, in the garage with the M3. Nah, that's oh. too nice, guys. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I've, I've, it's been a, a little um, frustrating. I, I want to drive it, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I do have to be patient. I mean, I it's, it's just really going to be... You don't want to get no rockets. No. I mean, especially, you the know... The most you can do is just turn it on. And if I'm right, I don't know, turn it off. I'll turn it off for you guys right now. <laughs> I, I just sit, sit in there. I, I sat there yesterday, and I just daydreamed. I was kind of just moving the steering wheel. Yeah, but um, yeah. So it's been here for a while. Um, it's been here for three for three weeks now. Um, and as you, honestly, as you can see, everything has been PPF'd. The, oh, so it is already PPF'd. Yeah, oh, every, it is. everything's already PPF'd. Uh, the pillars even got PPF because the pillars are one of the ones that really get you oh, know yeah, like with the streaks. Yeah, yeah, with with the towels. Yeah, so. Um, and then uh, right now, what he needs to do is just honestly do the ceramic coating. So once once we do that, then I'm gonna take off the wheels too, and we'll we'll do the ceramic coating on the wheels, the calipers, and then I'll just at that point I'm just gonna lower the car. I already got the stuff. Believe me, I'm I'm like fucking just counting the days. Like, you know what? I don't want to do nothing. Uh, are you gonna put uh, cherries on it? I, at one point I kind of did. You are? Um, oh, you uh, did it. Are you gonna put cherries on it? I am. I am. I just uh, I'm kind of debating on what to go with. I, I want to go with like a. Uh, I like the three piece, but you know, honestly, it's just uh, it's just getting the right the right setup. These ones aren't even too bad though. They look good. Well, with the like with all when it all, I guess the only issue I'm having with right now is the all wheel drive. Like, can you switch it? I can. Oh, I can. Yeah. Yeah. So I can go rear wheel drive once I turn yeah. off the the EDC, turn off everything. Um, the thing I'm just kind of questioning is just getting the right tire setup so yeah, I can have that yeah. same stretch as the M4. Mm -hmm. Ultimately that's the look I really want to go for. The same on that The same, you yeah. But are, are you thinking of sticking with like black or going with different colors? Honestly. Brushed or something or the chrome lip or yeah. something, so, something that'll when you're rolling you'll see when with the fitment like it'll look so sick. Yeah, I really do like the that look with the with the lip all yeah. motion and all that stuff. So honestly, I can't. Re I, it's it's kind of hard to decide. The one piece yeah. honestly looks really good. It's sliders, but three piece. I don't know. Can't can't beat that look. Right, uh, well, honestly, thank you for stopping by. Um, it sh it'll be ready in a few days. So you yeah. you're definitely you yeah, know. Hell yeah, I am. No, I am. <laughs> No, 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 trust me. We'll, we'll take it out for a spin for sure. Nah, it'll be... Honestly, I can't even wait. Bro, this car is insanely fast. That's pretty sick. Right in Ambient lighting, 700 horsepower. The girl like it. Faster than yeah. you need to start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that good much right now. <laughs> uh, maybe we should put our seatbelt on. Uh, maybe. That would probably be the smartest thing. Taking us out to dinner, it was awesome, man. My Thank pleasure. you. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to stop by later on. We gotta, we gotta check out the the M4, and then we'll do the CS lip install too. Can't wait, brother. All right, my bro. Have Thanks. a good night. Be safe. Night. Later, later bro. Oh, I saw it right now. Uh, hey, you
What else? Coyote, bro. Is that the there was a. There's a. There's coyotes and foxes. Look, 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 look. By the white fence. By the white fence. Right by the white. It's like a coyote. It's right there by the white fence by the trash can. Right? Is it? It's a coyote. Oh my. Bro, it is right. Yeah, it's a coyote. Yeah, yeah, you know, thanks, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Likewise. thank you for letting me stop Likewise. by. Likewise, no, Kill no, anytime, car. anytime. You're taking me home, Kevin. Yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it. No, Go kick it with your homie over there. <laughs> good seeing you. <laughs> later, Daniel. Good I'll see you later. later. I'll see you maybe this weekend or week we'll do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Thursday for sure? Thursday, yeah. For sure. The car will be ready in a few days, so you're more than welcome now. Baby. All right, guys. Have a good night. I'll see you later. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me on another episode. As you guys can see, you got my babies over here waiting for me. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go follow up on the process of the G80. Um, honestly, the whole process is basically complete as far as the ppf the window tinting um rafael right now he's doing the ceramic coating on the interior the, the process is a bit it was a bit lengthy but honestly the the results and everything that the way everything came out was honestly amazing better than what i expected so honestly this is this is worth worth all the time and effort that's gone into it Right now, Rafael is just doing the last of the, the actually, it's not the last. Right, right now, Rafael is doing the ceramic coating on the interior. Um, we're going to make sure that everything is nicely protected. Um, the back has already been done. You, can, you guys can honestly, I think, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but honestly, the, the red looks a lot more, more um, vibrant than, um, than without ceramic coating. This, this side is the, la the last side that will need to be done. As you guys can tell, he's doing the passenger side. We're doing, he's doing all the doors, making sure everything's getting evenly done. I, as far as uh, it goes, as for me, I just went ahead and helped out putting the, the spoiler back on. Um, that's, uh, that looks really nice. Like I said, I'm gonna go with the spoiler for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else later on once I have a better, uh, a better idea of, of what arrow kit I'm gonna go with or when I go with the with the arrow kit. Um but for now you guys can see the process. I mean this is, it's very detailed. It has to be done very very meticulously to make sure that you know you don't miss any spots. But everything's been done. The screen was ceramic coated as well. All the the carbon fiber panels. So honestly I can't wait for this thing to just honestly be out on the road and more than anything enjoy it without having to worry about anything um staining the leather or anything damaging the paint so thank you so much rafael you just done an amazing job i'll go ahead and link his information on up on top and also on the uh, description down below um but yeah guys um just remember be patient set yourself up for definitely a few days um this is a nice lengthy process and you want it to be done right you don't want to rush anything make sure that you give yourself plenty of time and also the installer as you guys can see the windshield was also tinted um i went with 55 percent all around and honestly i think it just it's gonna look really good i mean i can already tell it looks amazing um can't wait till i show you guys on out on the daylight or out on the streets so we'll go ahead and uh it up once I get into a little bit more more further into the car
he's already started with the ceramic coating process. Um, as far as for me, I went ahead and removed all the wheels and got the car on jack on jacks. Um, I'm outside right now. I'm washing all the wheels. Um, let me go show you guys everything. But I mean, come on, this thing looks amazing. You guys would need to see this in person, and you guys will soon. Um, as soon as this whole process is complete, the ceramic coating has cured. This car will be out. Um, so I'm hoping to see what what uh what next event will be out there, but this will be making a debut pretty soon. Um, and again, he's uh, gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the calipers. I gotta give him a nice clean. As you guys can see, it's a little dirty right there. Um, and the wheels were no exception. The wheels are actually very filthy as well. Um, So I already cleaned out a three out of the four wheels. As you guys can see, they look already really good. Really, no, they're brand new on this, obviously. Um, there's a little bit of a adhesive or glue on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. But honestly, the wheels are mint. So this is the rear. And this is the last one that I gotta clean up. As you guys can see, since I, I haven't you know driven the car or anything I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but you have to see all the water spots right there everything the whole barrel is dirty so I definitely want to make sure that before we do any kind of ceramic coating or you know get this back on the car I want to get this as clean as possible see you guys this is what I mean this thing's still brand new the inside is still silver there's no rust no kind of uh, build up or anything like that so guys this is a must. Whenever you guys get a, a new car, again, I cannot stress enough how, how good it feels to know that your car is protected and you guys can take the car and then just drive it with comfortability knowing that the car is well protected. So right now what I'm doing is I'm using uh, soap and water. I have a little bit of a, of a tire degreaser as well, but again, these are brand new and it's carbon ceramic brakes. So I'm really not using the harsh chemical right here on this side, I'm mostly using uh, the water, um, soapy water, and then uh, a brush. Um, as far as the soap goes, I do use Reset. Um, for me, honestly, that's what I use on my M4 every single time. On the exterior, on the wheels, on everything. So, if you guys want to know my products, that's, that's what I use. So let me get this cleaned up, like I said, and then I'll put it next to those right there once it's completely done, and then we'll get them into the garage. All right, everyone, so the wheels are already inside uh, the garage right now. They've already been cleaned. They've already been wiped. Um, they've already been wiped down with alcohol and Windex as per Raphael's instructions, just to make sure that um, the ceramic coating will adhere to the, to the wheels properly. So as you guys can see, everything looks so shiny, so glossy. And um, yeah, there he is. He's getting uh, everything else ready right now. Um, I went ahead and cleaned up the calipers. Um, I cleaned up the, the rear calipers, and then I also cleaned up the front. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna clean the inside of the the um, fender liners. The, I already cleaned this side, the driver, the passenger side. Now I'm actually working on the driver's side. Um, as you guys can see, I have uh, some water spots left, but for the most part, I already got everything cleaned out. Um, and again, we have a very nice clean caliper. Um, I'll go ahead and do the two rear fender liners as well. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different because it's got a, a little texture to it, like a little um, material, felt material. So it's not going to be like uh, the classic one out there. So this one should be a little bit easier. Um, and, I'm at, and again, the car looks amazing. It looks impeccable. I mean, Raphael's work is uh, honestly one of the best in the business. So if you guys do need any kind of ceramic coating, PPF, I'll go ahead and link his description as I mentioned earlier. You guys definitely want to go ahead and get this done if you guys get a brand new car. You guys do know that these cars are not cheap, and especially once you start modding it and you know adding features here and there. So always do your best to make sure to keep um, your investment nice and protected. And so this wheel's already done, right, Raphael? Yes. Wow, this thing looks amazing. The reflection that you just get off of it, it's and incredible. 
and the face too. It, it definitely gives it more gloss and more shine for sure. Wow, what do you think, guys? Amazing. I'm speechless. Okay. Wow, this thing looks amazing for sure. Wow. So this is ceramic coating. No ceramic coating. Now you can still see the gloss on this one, but you can definitely see a lot more. A, a, it's a, more glossy. Yeah, definitely way more, more glossy. glossy. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. With that, with that said, um, actually, <laughs> all right, guys. So pretty much, uh, Raphael has finished the whole entire process um, as far as doing the ceramic coating. He is using Expel Fusion for the ceramic coating, and honestly, the car looks amazing. The gloss, the shine, the reflection. Honestly, this this looks amazing. Um, you can't tell that it's PPF on the car. It honestly just looks just so natural to the vehicle the ceramic um the calipers were already ceramic coated as well i'm not sure if the camera can just pick up the nice shine that you get and he also did me a favor he he actually did the the fender liner too um i just wanted everything to look so clean and so good and man he just hooked me up with this part with both sides the driver and the passenger as you guys just saw you guys just saw the passenger side this is the driver's side it looks amazing just sucks that you guys can't see it but in person this thing looks amazing you guys see the carbon ceramic rotor and then these calipers look amazing just can't get enough of that word let's just take a look at all the reflection from the light we got the diffuser all put together right there. That's the piece everyone was asking for. Got the beautiful exhaust over here as well. So, um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and possibly get started on the next step. Um, I'll go ahead and, and start picking up that process in a little while. So... Thank you so much, Rafael, for making this thing, taking it to another level. Same thing, ish. All right, guys, so the first spring was installed. Honestly, my boy James over here had to come by. Eris, you guys know, was over here. They, they honestly made this whole process possible. Honestly, if it, if it had just been me by myself, this would have not been done, but thanks guys. Our Appreciate pleasure, you. bro. And to pair up the lowering springs, I went ahead and picked up some spacers from IND. Um, I went with uh, James's setup. He's got 12 in the front and 15 in the rear, right? So honestly, I, I really cannot wait to see how it's going to look with the wheels so flush to the fender now. Um, honestly, that's his setup. But, but right now, he has wheels though. Right? You just picked up yeah, a set of wheels. Yeah, with the proper offsets. And I'm running, I'm running a, so I, I realized too, they're running 285s in the rear on stock tires, uh -huh. or on the stock wheels. Um, and now basically my, my, rear, my rear tire, OEM, is now my new front tire. And nice. I'm running 305s in the rear, and I'm doing 30 walls instead of 35 like they do OEM, and it, yeah. it changes up a lot. Nice, nice. So honestly guys, it's nice to see different people set up, because that way you can kind of compare and just you know take take notes of like what suspension would work best or what's going to make the car look better too i know for him it's definitely a lot of performance more than aesthetics right yeah and, and i'll say that uh running a 15 millimeter spacer up front would have actually given better fitment but i didn't want to i didn't want to mess with the offsets so much on the oem wheels just because i'm pushing it further away from the steering axis and you already know how that complicates things absolutely sharp and stuff so no i i um, agree with him yeah so that's why i went 12 up front perfect perfect so as you guys saw we got 12s in the front and 15s in the rear let me go ahead and um, unbox them and then i'll show you guys what they look like once they're already on the car all right guys so that pretty much concludes the install for the springs and 
um, for the spacers. As you guys can see, it looks way different having the 12 millimeter spacer up front and then the 15 millimeter up in the rear. Honestly, it gives it a way more aggressive stance. I really do like the way everything came out. The whole PPF process, I mean, everything, the paint looks impeccable. We got the decal, the, the fender badge already installed. You guys saw that was one of the last things Rafael was doing, and that looks amazing. It's also PPF and ceramic coated. I mean, guys, this is honestly one of the, the one of the things that I like to do with my vehicles. So I want to make sure I protect every single aspect that for me is very important. Um, these parts are expensive, so we do want to make sure we protect them so that they can look good for longer periods of time. But again, if you guys enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, turn on your notifications. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the build, honestly. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.